ICICI Bank close to 277, TCS and Tech Mahindra are some of the other losers. Uh, sticking with uh, Tech Mahindra, Tech Mahindra declared numbers yesterday post-market hours. Numbers were absolutely in line. There was no major surprise either on the downside or on the upside. The management is now joining in. Vineet Nair, Vice Chairman at Tech Mahindra, is now with us. Sir, uh, good morning. Thank you so much for taking out time for us. First, if you could explain the margin bit and the margin trajectory going ahead. Uh, better utilizations and better efficiency, will that lead to margin expansion? Uh, well, I think our utilization went up quite significantly, but uh, I think we can uh, improve it a little further. We could get on to about 80%. Beyond that, it is not possible in my view, without impacting hugely on efficiency and causing, creating for yourself a risk which can be detrimental in the long run. So you had mentioned about employee rationalization and that leading to better margins. Uh, how was that in this quarter? What have we done for employee rationalization? Uh, yes, I think so. At this point of time, the fears are behind us. Right. Uh, can you then tell us about pricing pressure? What is competition doing in terms of pricing? Is that putting extended pressure on the margins going ahead? Uh, can it be one of the big things to watch out for? But you will always have pricing pre pressures because obviously um, global economies, at least most of them, have serious issues and what they would want to do is to get the best deal as possible. Uh, and we'll have to respond to that. And uh, ultimately, we will try to eke out our earnings from more efficient and competent uh, use of our resources. Uh, so last two quarters have been subdued for Tech Mahindra. Uh, we've seen a bounce coming back as far as revenue growth, margins are concerned. Can we safely now say at least the worst is behind if we are not seeing any major improvement also coming in in the second half? Uh, I hope so. I hope so. Though uh, making a prediction in these things is uh, not without risk, but I hope we will be able to definitely sustain these margins. Hopefully we'll do better. So commentary by large IT players so far has been mixed. What would your view be for second half? Apart from the normal holiday season, are you seeing much more uh, exaggerated uh, slowdown coming in? Well, I mean, uh, I do believe that these conditions will persist. Yes, there is always uh, uncertainty, especially in relation to currencies. Uh, but that doesn't overly worry me. As long as I have discrete piece of work to do, we do it competently. If global currency's value change, so be it. We will live with that. So can you tell us about the breakdown of the revenue growth that has happened geography-wise, vertical-wise? What led to uh, the better 2% growth that we've seen in this quarter? The last two quarters, I think uh, our enterprise side has done a little better than uh, the uh, communication side. But these things reverse themselves very quickly. And I don't see any uh, problem in, I mean, I, there's, it's difficult to make a uh, long-term prediction on which sector would be more buoyant than the other one. So Europe, you've always said, will be an important growth driver for Tech Mahindra. Considering what happen what's happening to the various uh, currencies over there, the growth outlook for a lot of European nations have changed. You still maintain that Europe will be an important destination for growth? Yeah, we see traction there. Uh, our uh, engagement in Europe is growing uh, 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 quite smartly. Yes, European uh, uh, Euro has had some problems. But if the choice is to get more work with an uncertain currency and not get work at all, I'd much rather get more work. It's a choice which my company is consciously making. So you also uh, you know, would have noticed that uh, a lot of global telecom M&As are happening and some of them may be your clients as well. Uh, will this impact the business coming in from them? How would you look at uh, this for the telecom vertical of Tech Mahindra? Well, what does an acquisition do? It only changes ownership, nothing beyond that. And it depends on how competently the new owner can use those capabilities. And, and that is where we come in. We, our acquisition philosophy is to take 
somewhat of a distressed asset, uh, which is at uh, which you can get at a reasonable price or at a price below what it would have taken to create it. We buy it, we repair it, and we deploy it. And consequently, that is how we have grown as much as we have grown in the last five years. And that is the strategy we will continue to hold. So you were targeting revenues of $5 billion by FY18 earlier. Uh, without an acquisition, now it is looking in tougher? Well, I mean, listen, uh, we are very opportunistic in that. Wherever we see a good opportunity, we take, make the, take the, do the acquisition and then we work hard to make it successful. This has been our track record and this is what our, this will be our future trajectory. Right. So what has been the contribution as far as digital space is concerned? Uh, do you continue to see growth over there? Are you continuing to invest in that area? Well, we are investing it like in all the new modern technologies, whether it is uh, Internet of Things or digitization, because we do believe that the technology is changing rapidly. And if we want to be any significant player in the, the technology world, we have to change faster than the average uh, company is doing. And we are doing our job on that. So earlier you had mentioned that uh, EBITDA target range would be 19 to 20% sometime in the future. Currently it's 16 and a half. We've seen a big growth coming in or big expansion coming in over there. When, when are we likely to see 19 to 20% range? Yeah, I mean, look, I'm glad that our margin has expanded, but I'm not satisfied at the current level. We will endeavor to do whatever we can to improve them further. Right. Uh, so thank you so much for taking out time for us. Tech Mahindra Management over there giving a modestly bullish outlook uh, for the second half. Four rupees decline for Tech Mahindra. It opened actually at 570 levels, but then has been hovering around uh, in these levels. Absolutely flat. No major upgrades coming in. No major downgrades coming in for Tech Mahindra. Nifty 24 points. Again, absolutely stable. Just about a minor uptick coming in right now on the Nifty, but still well below the 8100 marks. Well below of the day's high. Taking a break, coming back in two minutes. Don't go anywhere. Lots more lined up on the other side.